Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another video. This week's video is going to be on the year over year residential real estate stats for October across three markets. Those markets are Northumberland, Prince Edward County, and Belleville and Quinney West. So I'll be going over three markers across these three markets, which I feel are important, which are number of sales, days on market, and median sale price. Just keep in mind, these are residential only. So if you want commercial stats, as always, please feel free to reach out to me. Let's get into the data. First, we'll go over number of sales. So Belleville and Quinney West, we had 86 sales happen in October of 2023. That's down 6.1% from last year. That's the lowest number of sales in an October since 2018. So definitely slower time in Belleville and Quinney West back to pre pre pandemic sales volume numbers. Prince Edward, 30 sales, that's up 79.1%. So Prince Edward County ripping, I think this is due to the slower summer Prince Edward County had, they're actually having a true fall market. This is the highest number of sales in an October in the last 10 years. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, Northumberland, 101 sales, that's down 53.1%. That's the lowest number of sales in an October in the last 10 years. So Northumberland definitely suffering sales volume wise. I think this is due to a lower discrepancy in price between the GTA and Northumberland, where you get more people migrating east because of the difference in sale price. Also, I think Toronto during this downturn in the market has been hit the hardest in Canada. So that affects sellers in the GTA who are maybe planning to move to Northumberland. Next out we'll go over is days on market. Usually I like to use months of inventory, but since our transaction to this new board, don't really have months of inventory honed in for a stat yet. So. Days on market is the next best thing. Belleville and Quinney West, 29 days on market. That's up 23.1% from last year. It's the highest days on market since 2018 in the Belleville and Quinney West area. But if we go back to 2013 to 2015, we were like two months on market there. So, I mean, we're still half of that, but definitely higher days on market compared to pandemic times. Prince Edward County, that's 56 days on market. That's up 102.7% from last year. So definitely higher days on market in Prince Edward. Uh, it's the highest since 2018. Again, I think a higher than average number of sales happening in October will help absorb some of this inventory, but it's really the lower price homes that are transacting in Prince Edward County, which you'll see reflected in the median sales price. Um, but sales are still happening. So that will help Prince Edward County days on market because if they had a slow October, those days on market are just going to go up and up and up. And up. Um, Northumberland, highest since 2019. So we had lower days on market in Northumberland in 2020, 2021, and 2022. But if we're comparing to times before that, pre-pandemic times, lower days on market since then. So 38 days on market, that's up 17.1% from last year. So, I mean, across the board, we're seeing higher days on market, which is due to lower sales volume with the exception of Prince Edward County. Um, really seeing these higher priced homes having a hard time selling, whereas the lower price stuff is still moving, which we'll see in the next stat, median sale price. Last but not least, median sale price. So in Belleville and Quinney West, the median sale price for October was 497,450. That's down 5.1% from 2022. We're also down from 2021, but we're up about 20% from 2020. So. If you didn't buy in 2021 or 2022, you still have massive equity in your house if you bought in Belleville or Quinney West. And as we know, real estate's a long-term game. So if you're playing the long game, you're likely in a good equity position. Prince Edward County, 586, that's down 28.4%. Back to 2020 numbers in Prince Edward County. And as I mentioned before, this isn't due to home values going down 30% in Prince Edward County. It's just due to lower price homes are transacting in Prince Edward County, bringing that median sale price down. Northumberland, 710, that's up 8.8% from last year. So a different story in Northumberland, we see less transactions happening, but higher end home selling. But in Prince Edward County, we see more transactions happening with lower end sales happening. So it just shows that real estate is such a local thing and it's so market dependent and whatever market you're in could be experiencing different things, which is why it's so important to know what's going on in your local market. That's it guys, a quick overview of the 2023 October year over year residential real estate stats. As always, if you want leasing stats or commercial stats, please feel free to reach out to me. 
All my info is in the description below. You can contact me at my website, kehorealestate.com. Thank you for watching and stay tuned next week for a new video.